Well, guys, we've taken school supplies to a whole new level today, thanks to, well, entertaining uh, expert Arena Lannis. Uh, Arena is here, and we have our third and final project here. And, you know, when I heard that we were using crayons, I thought maybe we were coloring but these are used for something else today. Yes, they are. They're used for to make something pretty and okay. fun. And this is great for, you know, your son or daughter is going into school and you want to do something interesting for the teacher. This mm -hmm. would be perfect for that or even for your own uh, front door. Um, anyway, so what you're going to do first is you're going to buy this kind of composite wreath form. Okay, can you get those at a hobby shop, a hobby store of some sort? Yep. Okay. and this is the least expensive wreath form you'll get, so I loved it. And it's flat. So and it, yeah. You, yeah, so it's perfect for this project. So then, okay, everything from here on is like super easy okay. but if you're going to do anything you should do this and and I know this only because I made this mistake but I initially hot glued all of my um, crayons and well let's see hot glue and wax <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like a great combination okay I wasn't very good in chemistry <laughs> okay. so that might explain it but anyway and and I was kind of embarrassed because I took it to my teacher and things started popping off as I'm delivering it to her okay I know <laughs> don't want um, that I know so um, what I found is if you do like a dual action adhesive, which would be your liquid fusion. I love this. Okay, where can you buy that? You can buy it at any hobby store. Okay. Any hobby store. And one then, stop shopping then. One for all stop of this. shopping okay. for all of this, and um, and then you do your hot glue. So mm -hmm. what I'm going to do really quickly is that I'm going to go ahead and do this liquid fusion, and I don't do a lot. Just enough, because this stuff is strong. Yeah, it looks like just one line, kind of a zigzaggy line. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And it takes a while to dry, so that's why I use the hot glue, because this takes about a minute to dry. So mm -hmm. you'll have your initial adhesion, but when it comes to long term, this that's is... That's where the fusion comes into play. That's where the fusion yeah. is going to go. So when you do this, and, and it's, you know, easy, but um, when you do this, the key is to... Make sure that the Crayola logo stays up top. And oh, then, we have to be true to our brand. We, yeah. Well, no, only, you know what? It's yeah, not it the does. Brand. It makes it uniform. It makes it, it really, uniform it, yeah. and it makes a beautiful pattern. Yes, it does. As you're gluing this. And then also. And these are brand new crayons, by the way. Yeah. You didn't use the little busted ones at the end of the box. <laughs> this is like a brand new box. This is a brand new box, but the good news about this is that. These boxes right now, especially this time mm -hmm. of year, are so inexpensive. So this wreath, even though it's going to require a lot. Do you just randomly choose colors or do you have some sort of a pattern? You know, I just try not to use similar colors together. Okay. So I just I just work now, with that. Now we've got to fast forward to maybe the finished product. Here. Yes, finished product okay. is right here. So what else do you put on and do you, do you adhere this the same way? You know, this is up to your creativity. Yes, mm -hmm. I would adhere it the same way initially with the glue gun, but also put some um, liquid fusion. Gotcha. And then I made these cute little ribbon flowers. Oh, and yeah. those are super easy to do. Basically, you just, you're going to, um, I'm going to take this pin out. You're just going to twist a ribbon around, and then you're going to... Twist and roll. Twist and twist roll. And, and roll. you're going to put just yeah. a little bit of hot glue in there for adhesion. Right, so it doesn't unravel all over. Yes, it. Okay, yes. I tell you what, Arena, we have to uh, call this quits now, but check that out. You tell me that there isn't a teacher around that wouldn't love to put that in his or her classroom. Oh, it's just beautiful. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Time